to Him. Lord, we come now in a sincere effort to stand and to expound on your word in a way that brings clarity to the heart, to the mind of the hearer. Give us, God, the holy power to stand now. And God, we would that you will send your spirit again that it would dwell even with us so close God that we can hear your voice clearly and accurately God that we can expound with clarity keep us give us recall by the way of your Holy Ghost keep us is ever our prayer speak Lord for even as Samuel said thy servant heareth thee and will obey Help us run and not be weary, that we walk and not faint. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. You can keep your seats all over the house. We thank God for you. And um, Brandy, in interesting enough, I was coming out of my study, and uh, I, I just knew that the Holy Ghost was going to have his way. <laughs> and uh, Brandy said, well, Pastor T, would you give me your your message and and I say well let me give you to this to you but I say it is subject to change amen uh, when the Holy Ghost takes charge it is subject to change the title to the message that, that we're going to preach and I, I just don't I see let me get my glasses on see what time it is and amen because we have got a uh, we got a family here that we'll be blessed to be a christening today um, this is the the day of the water we're going to be baptizing we're going to be christening we're going to be dedicating oh my god what a day but I want to share with you and and Brandy is up top scratch that message Brandy maybe we'll preach it uh, sometime in the future amen somebody somebody say next we 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 gonna preach from the subject, and this is the title, Brandy. I know you have to. I'm gonna give Brandy some time after I give her this subject because she don't know what it is, and I want her to put it up, and so that make sure we have things correct. And uh, Miss A and all the others who do a great job um, in the behind the scenes in the paper and in the media, we can go. We can start back recording now. Those of you who, who um, we had to flip the script for a minute. For those who would like to start back recording, we're going to preach from the subject, I got nothing but love for your brother. Good God Almighty, I feel it already. I got nothing but love for your brother. Turn with me to uh, Brandy. Let's go to the first chapter of St. John. Uh, Brandy, the first chapter of St. John, and we're going to be Again, reading um, and and uh, I'm going to expound line upon line. Don't even stand. I'm just going. I'm just going to jump right into this word and expound line upon line. Amen. And uh, don't y'all leave. Don't y'all even even stand. You've got the text, uh, Brandon. Let's start at verse 35. Put it up when you get a chance. I'm giving Brandon some time because she is having to uh, wing it, so to speak. She she is she is winging it. And she and Brother Junior got, uh, amen. They can wing it, can't they? Amen. I love it. They, they got that. The title to the text, I got nothing but love for your brother. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you three things. I'm going to share with you the preach man. And, and, and I stand right now in that stead. And I'm going to share with you the word. And, and I want you to not lose focus that the preach man is simply the voice. But Jesus is the word. Amen, somebody. The preach man is simply the voice. But Jesus is the word. It, we pick up and it says, and again, the next day after John stood, the preacher, that's what, uh, that's a term that preachers use among preachers. Um, Pastor uh, 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 Williams, who's going to stand today? Uh, well, that means who's going to preach. That's all that, that's all that means. You know, sometimes we'll be back in the, in the, um, 
uh, in the in the pastor study, or sometimes we'll be in the in the in the in the uh, conference room, and 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 there'll be a bunch of preachers at revival time, and all of them will be real real equipped, and all able preachers will be there. And some preacher would, would hear, he says, I, I heard about the revival and I just thought I'd come in and, and be a part of the revival. God bless you, preacher, good to see you. He'll say, well, who's going to stand today? Amen, somebody. All that means is who's going to preach uh, today? And this particular day we find here that, oh, my God, Sister, Sister Kathy could have been, uh, she was well able, and she could have stood. And we find here, somebody say preach, Pastor T. We find Sister Tony was, was here, and she could have preached. And we find Pastor Williams was here, and he could. But they said, who going to, this particular day, it was John us you can be seated it was John who was going to stand it says again the next day after John stood two of uh, stood and two of his disciples it says and looking upon Jesus as he walked they said behold the Lamb of God. I don't care how good you preach. I don't care how good you sing. I don't care how good deacons you pray. You always point to Jesus and say, behold the Lamb of God. Because if Jesus don't stand up in you, come on somebody, if Jesus don't stand up in you when you began to sing, if Jesus don't stand up in you when you began to pray, if Jesus don't stand up in you when you began to preach, all you going to do is stand. But if you behold the Lamb of God, when you stand, Jesus will stand up in you. If you behold the Lamb of God, when you pray, Jesus will stand up in you. If you behold the Lamb of God, when you sing, Jesus will sing with you. Ain't God all right? He said, behold the Lamb of God. I'm going to preach in a few minutes. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, I may be standing today, uh, but I want you to keep your eye on the Lamb. The Lamb of God. I got nothing but love for you, brother. It says, then Jesus turned, 38, and saw them following and said, what seeketh ye? And they said unto him, Rabbi, which is master teacher. Master teacher. We got some good teachers around here. We got some good preachers around here. But it ain't but one the preacher. And that's Jesus. We got some good teachers around here. But junior golfs and deacon golfs, it ain't but one the master teacher. And that's Jesus. Keep your eye and behold the lamb. This says, uh, 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 he says, what you, what you seeking? They say, we want to see where you live. I'm going to get to these brothers in a minute. He says, come and see. I, I can see Brother Percy uh, coming over to the springs and, and, and I can see Kurt noticing some, some changes and, and he said what, what, what's going on? He said well y'all gonna help me preach this? Hey, come on now y'all I need somebody to help me preach this. See, see, see when you go home and there's a difference at home and, and, and somebody somebody want to know what the difference is and, and hey, come on somebody hey, hey, listen if you go going to church and you going home and ain't no difference something wrong somewhere all we talking about I got nothing but love for your brother person would go home and there would be a little difference in the way he acted be a little difference in, and he said boy what's going on with you he said Y'all don't hear me. So then we see Kurt start coming up in the house. He trying to come and what? Y'all, I'm going somewhere if y'all let me. Ain't God all right? Whoa, good God Almighty. He said, Jesus said, just come and see. I thank God when they come with that come and see spirit. Yeah. Amen, somebody. You come, well, Sister Johnson said, you come one time, you come in and see it. <laughs> you come two times, you come in and see it. <laughs> you get that third time, you're going to be in the water. Ain't God all right? <laughs> Ain't God all right? Come on with that come and see. I like you to come with that come and see. Come on with that come and see. 
Oh, uh, we like that come and see spirit around here. Ain't God all right? They came. Look, look, y'all. When they come and see, guess what going to happen? Look at verse 39. They came and what? Y'all to preach right there. But his, watch these brothers. And one of them, verse 40, and one of the two which heard John. Now don't focus on John speaking. Mom told me a while ago, Miss Johnny May says that. She said, Pastor, don't you think Kurt joining cause Percy? She said, cause why Percy was still where he was at. And, per, and Kirk had started coming. He told me, he said, Mama, he says, I can remember and can tell somebody a little bit about the world yesterday. He said, for the first time in my life, I'm understanding a little. He said, I, I, I can understand. I'm telling somebody about the word. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. It says, now he heard John. But what I told y'all, don't focus on John. Now, Kurt heard Pastor T, but don't focus on Pastor T because you know who really drawing you. Come on, somebody. That master. Y'all, yeah. listen, because all I can tell Kurt, behold the lamb. Ain't that right? Oh, my God. Watch what it says. It says in one of the two. I like that. I told him, God, God gave me a word for these boys today. And one of the two, uh huh, them two brothers, heard John, followed him, was Andrew, Simon, Peter's. Oh, so they were. Oh, well, maybe, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, well Sister Brown. Maybe they were brothers in Christ, bro Robert, and Pastor T. Maybe they were brothers in Christ, bro Dwight, and Pastor T. Or if I read on down, maybe it'll say, he first findeth his. So they were connected to brother, like connected through Mama, I'm gonna preach if y'all let me. Y'all, y'all, y'all feel me? Y'all feel me? He said, "No, nah, don't think it was a brother in Christ that he went and got. It was his own." Watch this, y'all. We going somewhere? What are you talking about, Pastor T? I got nothing but love for your brother. He finded his own brother and said to him. I found, I got Christ in my life. I'm going to just paraphrase. He says, you want to know the difference in me? He says, I got Christ in my life. Now, now, watch this now. And he brought him to, he didn't bring him to John. Y'all, 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 come on, come on. Y'all, don't, don't, oh, don't let me lose you right here. I don't want to lose you right here. He can bring him to John because John can't do nothing for him. He said, I got to bring you to Jesus, amen. Now, John may be preaching, amen. John may be preaching. Uh, Sister Catherine may be singing. Uh, Dwight may be singing. Uh, Deacon Johnny may be praying. But I can't take you to Deacon Johnny. Uh, I can't take you to Pastor T. Uh, I can't take you to Sister Catherine. Uh, I can't take you to Brother Dwight. Uh, I can take you to hear them, but I got to take you to Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith, the great I am, Mary's baby, the king of Jews. I may bring you to the church house, but I'm taking you to Jesus. Ain't God all right? Somebody say yes. Yes. Oh, yes. My God, my God. Says that he brought him to Jesus. Amen. Now y'all, y'all, I gotta, I gotta. 
one of my best friends that can keep you laughing is here today and is R.B. Time I stepped in the room and mom don't care about me telling this. Y'all gonna, gonna laugh at this. Mom don't care about me telling this. Because it may happen they got mom is it, mom off the chain. So they're in the conference room and I come in, we always talk before we have baptism and I make sure everybody understands the process and what's going on. And sister was there. Great grandson was there. Percy and Kurt was there. Mom was there. I stood there. I said, everybody all right? Mom said, yeah. Pastor T now. Now, this is what I respect from RB now. I said, and I told her when she told me, I said, don't start. I said, now, RB ain't even got here yet. And, and you done started. I'll tell you what mom said. Mom said, yeah, I'm here. And I combed my hair in case I throw the wig off. Mom said, Pastor T, yeah, I'm here. And I even comb my hair in case I throw this wig off in the process. I said, now, RB ain't even here yet. <laughs> my God, y'all. Now, I said all that to make you laugh. I'm going to show you because we, we're not supposed to be stiff-necked Christian. And y'all know, Pastor T, Pastor T, I'm just plain Jane. I know we got guests in the house. I hope y'all come back. Pastor T is just plain Jane. Look, look. So, so, so Stephanie, she know, Pastor T, just, it, it is what it is. Uh, amen. She so Stephanie about that, she'll explain it to y'all later on. For the, this y'all first time, she'll explain it to you. Pastor T, just, it is what it is. Ain't that right? Mother Atkinson, she, it is what it is. Watch this, y'all. I made you laugh because I want you to look at what Jesus was doing. I know nobody never showed you this, but I'm going to show you something. Watch this. The two brothers come. Watch this now. Stay with me. He bring the two brothers to Jesus. We're in verse 42. And when he bring the two brothers to Jesus, Jesus knowing the family. Watch this now. Jesus knowing the family and must have known the dad. And Jesus looked at him and he said, boy, you look just like John, your daddy. Now, 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 now I'm going to read it the way it's in the Bible, but now you know what he said. Watch this. And it says, and he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, thou art Simon, son of Jonah. Boy, you look just like your daddy. Uh-huh. Y'all ain't never looked at it. What Jesus, Jesus said, look at us. Boy, you look just like your daddy. Uh-huh. Everybody else in shock because they ain't never read it like that. That's what he was saying. Why? Because he had a sense of humor. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You just like your daddy. Let me move on. The following day, watch these other two brothers. Jesus will go forth into Galilee and find Philip and said unto him, now follow me. Now Philip was at Bethsaida, Bethsaida, of the city of Andrew and Peter and find of Nathanael and said unto him, so this brother then went to get this other brother. So Philip then went and got Nathanael. Talking about two more brothers now. I'm witnessing somebody. Is your brother, has your brother found Jesus? I'm talking to somebody. Has your, foot, has your sister found Jesus? I'm talking to somebody. It may be your responsibility to go and get them and bring them to 
Amen. We have the story of two brothers, right? One, one behind the other, and both of them are going and getting the other one and bringing him to. The worst thing could happen is me get to heaven and, and, and Jesus say to me, and, and, and judgment is not going to be about my sins because all my sins have been forgiven. But it would be a bad thing, Sister Kathy, for me to stand in front of Jesus. And he said, why didn't you go and get your brother? It would be a sad thing, uh, Miss Ashley, for us to stand before you. He said, why you didn't go get your brother? Now, I'm, I'm going to share something with you in a few minutes. Because some of us going to say, because my brother was doing this and my brother was doing that. I'm going to show you in a few minutes where Jesus is going to say, I already know about that because I saw him when he was out there under that tree. Oh, I'm going there. See, you worried about what he's doing. Jesus worried about who he is. Jesus said, I already know what he was doing under the tree. I saw him under the tree. Don't nothing get past me. I saw him when he was under the tree. Don't you worry about the tree. Bring him to me. Now that rhyme, and I ain't even know it was going to get like that. Don't worry about the tree. Don't worry about what he's doing under the tree. Don't worry about what he's smoking under the tree. Don't worry about what he's drinking under the tree. Just bring him to I'm going somewhere in a few minutes. See, a lot of times we got an excuse why we don't go get our brother. Why got an excuse why we don't go get our sister? We got an excuse why we don't witness to somebody. You worry about you trying to be Jesus. You can't be Jesus. You're not the judge or the jury. Just be a witness. Oh, my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach this. I'm going to sit down. Let me go and preach this. I'm going to sit down. Philip, find of Nathaniel. And saith unto him, we have found basically the Messiah. Nathaniel said unto him, excuse me, let me let me back up. We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write. He said, We found Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Now wait a minute. Nathaniel, can I go there? Nathaniel knew about that, that area and that family. He said, well, can any good thing come out of that area? There it is again. What are we supposed to say? Come. What he said? Come and see. Verse 47, very softly. Desiree. Verse 47 says, and Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said to him some of them when you see them coming this is an inside thing most of y'all are not going to understand this Terry Lynn had went home I'm talking about family y'all can I talk about family Y'all let me talk about family. I want y'all to stay right here. Terry Lee, I want you to stay right here too. Cause cause God moving by his spirit, y'all. I hadn't I hadn't even I hadn't even thought about this until the Holy Ghost just dropped it on me. Stay with verse 47. It says, and Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him. Watch this, y'all. Terry Lynn was young girl and that particular day she went home from school and she says mama I was at school today and she said this boy says he's my brother she said mama I didn't know I had brother of him and she said and mama I asked him to come and mama she says not your son but it's one of daddy's sons 
And mama, he's coming to Map Street today. Y'all stay with me. Stay in that verse 47. Stay right there. He says, and Jesus saw Nathaniel coming. The story is, mom went out to the road. And when she saw him walking down the street, he was walking like Candyman. She said, that's your brother. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me? When he, when he was walking down through there, he was walking like uh, br br uh, br uh, br br RB. When, when he saw him walking down through there, he, he had them kind of knock, walking like carrying man. Y'all don't hear me? That's your brother? Y'all stay with me. Jesus had a sense of humor. When Jesus saw Nathaniel coming, he said unto him, Behold, he's an Israelite indeed. So he's a candy, he, he, he candy man indeed. Y'all see where I'm going? I'm going to finish up in a minute. Then the Bible says, And Nathaniel said unto him, how you know me? Look at this, y'all. How you know all this stuff about me? I'm finna, I'm finna close it out. See, all the time we worried about what we know. When Jesus know it all. Watch this. Nathaniel said, how you know all this stuff about me? He said, because I saw you under that tree. If you're here today, I'm finna, I'm, finna, I'm finna extend the invitation. We done with this today. Ain't no more I can preach. Y'all stay with me. Stay with me. If you're here today and you've been hiding something under the tree, watch this now. Don't you worry about hiding it from Pookie and them. Don't you worry about hiding it from Brother Bummer B. Don't you worry about hiding it from Sister So and So. Cause they ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. Amen, somebody. But I want you to know right now, you can't hide it from Jesus. Cause when he see you walking down the street, he gonna say, that's Candyman, boy. Ain't that right? When he see you walking down the street, he gonna say, boy, you look just like your daddy. Ain't God all right? He already know everything about you. All he wants you to do now is what he told them boys, what he told them brothers, what he told them. He didn't start talking about all the stuff they had done. He didn't start talking about all he saw under the tree. He said, follow me. In other words, all that stuff ain't worth a hill of beans. All he said to you, Kurt, follow me. Terry Lynn, go tell him, follow me. Oh my God, I feel like preaching. Sister Kathy, go tell him, follow Jesus. Somebody need to go get their brother. Somebody need to go get their sister. Somebody need to go get them and tell them he ain't worried about all that. My pastor said, he saw you under the tree. Follow because he said to you, I've got nothing but for your brother. Doors of the church are open. I'm done with that. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Got nothing but love for you. It don't matter about all that other stuff. It don't matter. I got nothing but love for you. Follow me. Follow me. That's what Jesus said. That's all Jesus is saying right now. That's all he's saying. Follow me. That's all Jesus is saying. That's all he's saying. Would you follow him? Would you go get your brother? Would you go get your sister? Would you tell them all Jesus wants you to do is follow him? 
Help us, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Give your angel a high five. Say, Pastor, change preach that. Has come over me. He changed my life, and now I'm free. He washed away all my sins, and he made. to do